I don't consume a lot of memes. Oh my god! TikTok. What? Bless your heart. I have a, a long history with memes. I'm like the chief meme maker for it's a southern thing. I get on Instagram to post a picture of my dog every once in a while. I can't get off social media. I think doom scrolling? Is that what it is? You know, you look up three hours later and uh, you realize you, you know, you've been sitting on the toilet for a while. My relationship with internet memes is that I consume a lot of them and make even more. <laughs> the word of the day is aluminum. Aluminum. Oh, aluminum. Aluminum. Like aluminum can. Yeah, aluminum. I don't want to say. I love him. I love him so much. My grandparents are deceased, so this gentleman is now my new papa. Oh, this makes me miss my papa. See, this is what I feel like is going on inside of my head when I say a word too many times. Or you like look at a word too long and it just becomes mush. I think this old man like lives inside my brain whenever I'm trying to say anything. Jessica, don't you make fun of your grandpa. He's lived a long life. He can say lum lum however he wants to. A lot of us, and I'm sure Papa doesn't normally use that word either. We, we call it tenfold. You know what? We're gonna bless his heart. Bless your heart. So we've got here an engineering flowchart. Love a good flow chart. Does it move? No, should it? No, no problem. Yes. WD-40. Yes, should it? Yes, no problem. No duct tape. This is not, yeah. Self-proclaimed handyman myself. This speaks to me. WD-40, duct tape, Advil at all times. That's all you really need in life. This is the trifecta. It's got this awful thing where like it opens just fine, but then when you close it, it's like The WD-40 would fix that. And then the basement door, which slams way too fast because the little thing at the top's broken, duct tape would fix that. Where's my to-do list? They could frame this and sell this is the Hobby Lobby. You, you got a nice little like, <laughs> out of this. I give this 10 and a half chuckles. Listen, this is the answer to all of your life's problems. There's no reason that something can't be fixed with either WD-40 or a roll of duct tape. And that's that on that. Due to, due to me being an industrial contractor, I travel and I have to stay in hotels because I travel around the country. And my company usually put me in pretty good hotels. When I pulled up to this hotel, I was kind of sketchy about it but I have no choice, the company put me in it. Then I came to the room. I'm just gonna show you one picture and, and you, I'm just gonna let you see how, why I feel or I'm making this video about this room. <laughs> Look at this mother picture. This is the picture that's on the wall in the hotel. The <laughs> took a picture out the frame. They put in a picture of a drawn horse. What the <laughs> with his leg? <laughs> why is his belly so big? What type of hair is this? And why the <laughs> he have duck lips? Why put me in a room like this? Just the fact that this picture is on this wall says a lot about this hotel, so I can imagine what I'm gonna go through the rest of the time that I'm here. I ain't gonna say the name of the hotel. The fact that he ends it with like, I'm not gonna say the name of the hotel. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to be in any lawsuit or anything. First of all, build up, solid. It's solid filmmaking right here. Solid, you could teach a class on this. Well, that's a stallion right there. Clydesdale ate another Clydesdale and became like the monster horse. A little bit of hair right here. What looks like two tentacles coming off the back of its neck. Two tails. For anyone who hasn't seen a horse in real life before. Bless your heart. It looks like some concept art from James Cameron's Avatar. I think it's the tentacles on the back of its neck that are really throwing me off. Cowboy advice. One, be rootin'. Two, be tootin'. And by God, be shootin'. But most of all, be kind. Okay, you get a laugh out of me for that one. Okay, I feel like Liz made this mainly because of the possum. Oh, it looks like this possum is crying, which is even cuter. <laughs> but I also love it because it's a possum with a cowboy hat on. Possums, I just feel like, are the quintessential southern animal. And we love them so much. And they're deeply misunderstood, like the South is a lot of the time. Time to look and see who that reminds me of a little bit. This reminds me of the Sheriff uh, Jackie Gleason in uh, Smoking the Bandit, if I kind of look at a distance. I don't even know what rootin' and tootin' is. I guess, I mean, I think you have to be on a horse to do that. Now you know what gets me. Let's work on our kindness, and then let's try to figure out how we can put some cowboy hats on possums. Ah, fart jokes, I love them. <laughs>
There is nothing funnier than a fart, and I will die on that hill. Yeah, yeah, you found my weakness, it's potty humor. This is good humor. This is uh, right up my alley. I probably lost all my credibility, but this is a funny video. He's probably flying southwest. They'll let you do anything. Airplane, like, that pressure, and like, everything kind of moving around, it's, you get a little, you get a little gassy. And you know what, being a big guy, you're always the first person that gets blamed. Everybody wants to blame the big guy, you know? But I, we know, we know our limits. We're more careful than anybody else, I guarantee you. But you know it with someone close by. You know, you can also crack open a beverage. You're in public transportation. Be courteous to those around you. Clench it. <laughs> Hold it in. It's just good manners. I'm in my own house, and it's just me, my wife, our daughter, and two dogs, and anyone in there could let one rip, and I'm gonna get blamed for it. Just don't ride airplanes. That's good to know that we live in a world with a lot of funny people. Things are too serious sometimes. Everybody needs a laugh. You know, we're all just trying to find common experiences in our lives that we can share with other people. They were relatable, and they were funny. It was good content. These are little bitty jokes about basic, boring, normal life. And people are turning it into entertainment, and that's awesome.